Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to solve the pyramids. Before we solve the pyramids, let's learn the different parts of the pyramids. Let's start with the centerpieces of the pyramids. These are the centerpieces of the pyramids. They're also located over here, over here, and over here. There's three of them on each face and there's 12 of them in total. They each have only one color, as you can see over here. So all of these only have one color. Next, there's the edge pieces. They're located in between the center pieces. So these are the edge pieces. They're also located over here and over here. They each have two colors, as you can see over here. These all have two colors. Finally, we have the tip pieces. These are the tip pieces over here. You can twist them like this, and they each have three colors. They're very easy to solve because all you have to do to solve them is to just twist them around like this. Now that's it with learning the different parts of the pyramids, and now let's learn the notations for the pyramids. Now in this tutorial, we only need to know three notations. The first one would be U, or the upper face. Then there's L, or the left face, and R, or the right face. Now just these notations mean you have to move the corresponding face 90 degrees clockwise. Now what if you want to move them anti-clockwise? This is where primes come in. A prime is where there's an apostrophe after the notation. This means you have to move the corresponding face 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So this would be u, that's clockwise, and this would be u prime, that's anti-clockwise. This would be l, that's clockwise, and this would be l prime, that's anti-clockwise. This would be r, that's clockwise, and this would be r prime. That's anti-clockwise. And now that's it with notations, and now let's start solving the pyramid. Before we start, let's scramble the pyramid. Here is our fully scrambled pyramid. And our first step is to solve all the center pieces in one face. Now you can choose any face you like, but in this tutorial we're going to be choosing our yellow face. Now we have to find all of our yellow center pieces. So here's one yellow center piece. Here's another yellow centerpiece, and here's the last yellow centerpiece. Now our next step is to find a place where all of our yellow centerpieces can go together. So we have to look around the pyramids and try and find one face where we can put all of them together. So I think we can get all of them together on this face over here. So we should twist this around, and now we have two centerpieces on this face. We can twist this around, and we have all three center pieces. Now we can simply twist this tip piece around, all these tip pieces, and we can solve all of our tip pieces. So we have all of our center pieces and all of our tip pieces solved on our yellow face. Now our next step is to solve all of the other center pieces and all the other tip pieces of the pyramid. Now this is very, very easy. All we have to do is twist this top layer around, like this. One more time, there we go. Now all of our tip pieces and all of our center pieces in the pyramids are solved. Our next step is to solve all the edge pieces of the pyramids. Now to do this, we have to completely solve one of our faces. So you can choose any face once again, but in this tutorial, we're gonna choose our yellow face. So take your yellow face and position it at the bottom of the pyramids. Now look around the pyramids for any yellow pieces. So here's one yellow piece. On the other side, it's red, which means we can orient this onto the red face. Now this is the red face. You can tell because it has all of the red tip pieces and all of the red center pieces. So we're gonna twist this onto the red face. There we go, now it's on the red face. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do an algorithm. Now for this algorithm, there are two cases. The first case is if our piece is on our left side. The other case is if our piece is on the right side. So if it's on the left side, as it is now, we have to do an algorithm which goes like this. R, U prime, R prime. If it was on our right side, however, we would have to do an algorithm which goes like this. L prime, U, L. So now it's on our left side, so we have to do the first algorithm. So R, U prime, R prime. And now you can see what happened. So we moved this piece into this slot over here. 
So this piece is now slotted down over here. We can now repeat this move with the rest of the pieces. So here is another piece. We can now see that on the other side of yellow, it's green. So we should move this onto the green face, which is over here. So we moved it onto the green face, and now it's on our left side. So R, U prime, R prime. So it's been slotted inside and only one more to go. So here, this time, our piece is down here at the bottom. In this case, we can move this piece from here and put it back up by simply slotting in another piece. It can be any random piece, so I'm going to slot in this piece. So on the left side, so R, U prime, R prime. Now this time, you can see our piece, it's on our right side. So we have to do our second algorithm. It goes like this, L prime, U, L. So now you can see our final piece has been slotted in and our entire face is finished. We have to do that a few more times to other faces until we solve the entire pyramid. So we're gonna do this to the red face now. So we're gonna take this face and position it somewhere else and we're gonna take the red face and position it at the bottom. Now you can see that only one piece needs to be slotted in, and this piece is down here. So we can put another piece in this position and remove this. So we can take this piece and put it here. So this is on my left side, so R U prime, R prime. And now this piece is back here. On the other side it's green, so I'm gonna shift it to the green face. And now L prime, U, L. And now it's fully solved. Now sometimes you have to solve more than two faces. However, in that case, all you have to do is simply repeat the moves which I taught you and keep on solving faces and soon enough your entire pyramid will be solved. Congratulations! You just solved the pyramid. Now if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next upload.